Hey guys, you ready to do some science? I'm ready to do some science. You guys look so ready. Oh wait, actually you're not. Because first we have to talk about safety. Now, lab safety is our number one concern in the biology classroom. Biology is a hands-on science. We're gonna be doing lots of labs all year long. But first we gotta go over our safety guidelines for the biology classroom. Now, after this video, I'm going to give you a student safety contract. You're going to take it home, read it over, and sign it with your parents and bring it back here. Once it's back in the classroom, you are ready to perform any lab we do all year long. You ready? Okay, rule number one. You are to conduct yourselves at all times in a responsible manner in the biology classroom. So that means don't act like this. Do not touch anything, glassware, chemicals, other things you see that think are nice. Don't touch them until I tell you to do so or your procedure tells you to. So basically... Rule number one. You will not touch anything. Uh-huh. What about the floor? Yes, you may touch the floor. Got it? Okay. Now, do not eat food, drink beverages, or chew gum in the biology classroom. Something may look like food, but it's not. Something may be food, but we're not using it for food. It could be a model for something, and it's candy, and you really want to eat it. But if you eat it, we won't have enough for the other classes, and maybe the classes before put their gross fingers all over. You're eating boogers and germs, and it's just gross. So don't eat food during the laboratory. If it's food, if it's not food, don't put it in your mouth. You can see something, it's like, oh, look, this looks like a nice purple smoothie, but it's actually a chemical. I think I'm gonna drink it anyway. Oh. That could happen. So, stay away, don't put anything in your mouth during the laboratory, please. Okay, okay. Okay, perform only experiments that I have told you to do so. Don't go mixing up with chemicals, don't go playing with things if you are not instructed to do so. That can be very dangerous. There's a lot of really cool equipment in here, but if you use it the wrong way, you could break it, you could hurt yourself, uh, or you could hurt others. Okay? Good. Now we're going to observe good housekeeping practices. We're going to keep this place clean and tidy. After a lab, we're going to clean up. Before a lab, we're going to make sure everything we need is there so we don't go rummaging around later. And we're going to keep only the things we need for that lab on our work area. Uh, know the locations of all our safety materials. For example, we have a fire blanket. Who can spy the fire blanket? Where's the fire blanket? Oh, I see it. Anybody see it? Be alert and cautious at all times in the laboratory. If you see something that looks a little off, you're going to let me know. I'm going to tell you if it's for a lab or if I need to take care of it. Now, very important, dispose of all chemical waste properly. So, we have our uh, smoothie, not a smoothie here. And I think I'm just going to pour it down the drain. Okay, here we go. Pour it down the drain. Oh, no. Boom. Explosion. Okay, so you don't want to pour anything that's not water down the sink. And before you pour something that looks like water down the sink, make sure it's water. It could be bleach, could be something dangerous. You never know. A lot of things look like water and they're not. And you're never going to put anything solid down the sink either. So basically only H2O in the sink. Got it? Make sure you read all the labels. If I had labeled my ugly uh, poison smoothie, I would know it's not drinkable and I would probably not drink it. Hopefully you wouldn't either. Okay, keep hands away from face, eyes, nose, ears, mouth. Um, because I have a little bit of nasty smoothie debris on my hands, that can get on my face, that can get in my eyes, I could get chemical burns wherever, you never know. So after a lab, you're gonna wash your hands very carefully with soap and water. Make sure you get everything off so it doesn't irritate you or hurt somebody else later on. Okay, uh, make sure you monitor your own experiments at all times. You don't wanna start setting something on fire and then, there we go, and then walk away and have the whole classroom burned down. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen, but if you are running an experiment, some of them are time sensitive, you could get up to go and then lose your data. So make sure you're always there or your lab partner is there while you're running the experiment. Students are never, ever, ever permitted in the storage room. Everybody see the storage room? Storage room? 
Got it? Okay. You're never allowed in there unless I give you explicit permission to do so. Got it? Awesome. Okay, next is very important. We're going to handle all living organisms humanely. So later this week, we might be doing a lab with some insects. We're not going to play with the insects. We are going to do laboratory procedures with the insects. And when it's time to put the insects away, we're going to dispose of them or put them away somewhere in a humane way. This comes to dissections too. If we ever do a dissection on something that was alive, we're going to treat it humanely and with respect. Very important. Okay, when using things that are sharp, because sometimes we will have sharp tools or objects in the biology classroom. You want to make sure the pointed end is always away from you and not facing anyone else either. Anytime. Chemicals. Heat. Ooh, or glassware Ow. are used in the laboratory. We must always wear dun 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 goggles. Now we also have to put on appropriate clothing. I'm not appropriately dressed right now. What's wrong? Dun 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 hair and dun dun dun. I have long dangly earrings, so I need to get rid of these. Goodbye, goodbye. I need to put up my hair. And if I did have on baggy clothing, I'd have to take that off too. Now. All of these things can disrupt us during labs. It can make our work dangerous, and uh, it can also catch fire. So, very important to get rid of these. If you're not properly dressed for a lab, I'm gonna ask you to do the things that I just did. Take off the earrings, put up the hair, tuck in any baggy clothing. Um, and if you do not do that, you cannot participate in the lab. So on days we have labs, you wanna be ready to go, wearing the proper attire, having your hair in the proper fashion. Okay. Um, make sure any accident, spill, or breakage, you want to alert the teacher right away. Uh, okay. As I was saying, hey, off! Oh. Somebody broke that. Okay, okay. Anytime there's an accident in the lab, you want to let me know. And anytime something splashes in your eye, you want to make sure you wash it with water and continue doing that eye wash for about 20 minutes. I think that is it for now. I hope you are all ready to be safe people in the laboratory. Now I'm going to turn off the video, we're going to ask you a few questions about what you just saw, and then I'm going to pass out the lab safety contract. Now don't forget, you're going to take it home, read it with your parent or guardian, and sign it and bring it in tomorrow. Alright, thanks guys. Bye-bye.